There's three ways to do extra credit if you're a person who calculates your overall grade using weights. There's the traditional way and then two JMC ways. Uh, I like the traditional way, I like the first JMC way. I'm not as big a fan of the second JMC way, but it works and I'll show you how that works here. I'm going to go through them quite quickly. You can always watch this movie again if you want a refresher of how extra credit works in JMC. First way is the traditional way of doing extra credit in JMC. You can take a particular assignment. This is my chapter one test. We're going to use John Asith as our example student because he's got 89%, which is a B plus, on the cusp of an A minus. And maybe that particular test, I had 80 questions on it, but it's only out of 75 points. So a student could get 80 out of 75 points. They get more points than an assignment is worth. You can come in and give that student 80 points. It's going to give me a warning. You've entered a score greater than the maximum score, 80 out of 75 points. Then click OK, and that will register that particular score there. So that raised it from that 89% to a 90.2% there. So very traditional way of doing extra credit in JMC, very easy to do. The second way I'm going to show you in just a second here, I'm going to change this back to a 75 just so we can again use the student as an example. I'm going to go, the second two items are the JMC ways and they're done on the categories and assignment screen. What you would do is you would add a category in, so this is option number two. You create an extra credit category, I'm going to call it extra credit. And what you need to do here is you need to decide how much can their grade go up percentage wise if they do all of the or receive all the points in this particular extra credit assignment slash category. So right now this student, this class is 100%. You, most teachers do 100%, but you don't have to. But let's say if this kid or these kids do all the points this particular assignment, they can raise their grade by 2%. I would come in here, I put 2% in here, I check it as an extra credit category, and I would check it as a standalone category. So actually this would become extra credit one if you're going to do more than one particular assignment. So I, I, you might want to think before you even start doing extra credit if you're doing weights and you're going to do it this way. What percentage overall can my students raise their grade? So I've decided in my class, my kids can raise their grade 4% over two assignments. So this is extra credit one. This first one they can raise it by 2%. The max score, let's say, is 20 points. You'd put the overall score. They can earn up to 20 points here. Choose a date. Always choose a date whenever you're putting assignments in. And then click Save. So now, if they do this extra credit assignment, they can raise their grade by 2%. The beauty of this extra credit category as a standalone category is if a student gets five points on that particular assignment, right? It's their grade's not going to go down. It'll actually go up because only points they earn in this extra credit category can help them. So I go back to my assignment score screen. I'm going to show you how this works here. We've got our new assignment listed right here on the right hand side called extra credit. Again, my student is 89%. So if I came in here and this was a normal assignment and I gave the student a five, that would be five out of 20 points. That'd be 25%, their student, their grade would go down. But because it's an extra credit category, when I put a point on there, it adds it above and beyond. So when I give a five, and, and I'm just gonna do the math in my head here quick. If I give a five, it's gonna be one quarter of this particular assignment, and one quarter of the 2% would be half a percent. His grade should go up half a percent by putting a five in here. So I put a five, Okay, it's going to save it. There we go. It went up to 89.5%. So even though they got 5 out of 20 on this assignment, because it's an extra credit assignment in that extra credit category, their grade can only go up that amount. Now if I want to add the next one in here, so again I said we have two assignments. They're going to be worth 4% overall. I'd add a category in here. Call it extra credit Students can earn up to 2% overall. It's a standalone category. I mean, you're going to grade that category. Extra credit category. Put the date in. And click Save. There you go. Now the students' grades can go up by 2% overall. For it's 104% in that class total. So if I go back to my assignment score screen, and I give this kid a 10, for example, here, which I'm going to do here, their grade, oh, I didn't, hold on here, didn't put the assignments in there, the points in there. Come in here, max score is 20 points. We'll do just like the other one. Although you could do whatever points you want. It's totally up to you, but the total number of points a student can earn there. Then on the assignment score screen, if I give a student a 10, oh, here, okay, then typically their grade would go down again. 
A 10 would mean that they are receiving half of that, right? A 10 out of 20 is 50%. But in my situation, that 10 out of 20 is half of what the credit they receive. They can receive up to 2%, so half of that 2% is 1%. So when I put in this 10, it should go up to something like 90.5%. Again, I'm just doing the, the math in my head here. Okay, there we go, 90.5%. So that's the second way to do extra credit in JMC to be able to do those particular categories as separate categories and then put in the, a separate assignment totals for those particular categories. Now I'm going to erase these to show you the third option here. There we go. So again, the way I did that, because this third way is very similar, is I put in an extra credit category, I made it a standalone category, and then an extra credit category, and the second one, a standalone category and an extra credit category. Now the third way is very similar, but there is a slight difference that's important. I'm going to delete out these categories here. You could come in here, and I could add a category and just call it extra credit. Not extra credit one or two, just extra credit. I'm going to make it an extra credit category and say that the student can raise their grade. Um, uh, I'm going to start with this to say 2%. This is how I would do it. And I click Save. And then I would add an assignment underneath that category and call this extra credit one. What's the max score? I'm going to use the same as before, 20 points. What's the date? Put it in here. And click Save. There we go. Now, if a student comes in and receives all the points on this, right, their grade would go up 2%. So if I go to my assignment score screen, here's my student, 89% there. If I give that student a 20, right, their grade is going to go up to 91%, just like expected there. Now, here is where you need to be paying attention to the way you're, you're setting up these particular percentages. What I determined is, just like I did in the, in the second option, that I'm going to give two assignments over this particular quarter, and the students can earn 4% overall. So now I can add another assignment in here. I'm going to call this extra credit 2. This is also worth 20 points. the date, and click Save. Okay. So when I do that, I need to go back now into my extra credit category here because you see now it changed from being 100% of, of this for 2% to 50-50. So now I come into my extra credit and change it to 4%. Okay. So now that student still earned that credit, that 2% up to 2% on the first one, and I can up to 2% more on the second one. So I go to my assignment score screen. But let's say that the student didn't do as well. Maybe the student only earned five points. That's no problem there. That will still be added above and beyond to their uh, overall grade. Now he went from 91% to 91.5%. Here, here's the important thing to know about option number three, is that you cannot put in your overall percentage here the 4% until you've added this one and then added both of these. Here is the reason why. Now, if you understand exactly what I'm talking about, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to do option number three. I'm going to do option number two or option number one. You could stop watching this video at this point because this might be a little confusing to you. Um, but what you need to know is this, that when I put in, I'm going to give you the reason why you need to be careful when you put the percentage in. I'm going to come in here and delete this here. If I came in here, I'm going to delete out this particular assignment here. And I set up like this right away. Extra credit one. And I put 4%. I'm going to say, I'm going to give the kids two assignments. They can raise their grade overall 4%. And I'm going to make put that 4% in there right away. Remember, if I told you before, don't put it in at 4% right away. Put it at 2% and put the first assignment in. But let's say, you know, I'm going to put 4%. I'm going to ignore the JMC trainer. I'm just going to put 4% in. Well, what could happen is the student, just like we see here, came in here. And they got 20 out of 20 on the extra credit here, which gave them 93%. Oh, man, that's awesome. John, got he's got 93% because of that extra credit. Well, let's say you say, okay, I'm going to give my next extra credit assignment here. So I'm going to come here to extra credit, add my assignment. Extra credit 2, max score, 20%. What's the date? Save. Right? So now, instead of that first one being 100% of the four, now it's 
So let's say that John came in and John, he aced that first extra credit assignment, but did not ace the second extra credit assignment. First of all, you see right here, his grade is 93% before, now it's 91 and a half. Now if I add this in, sure his grades go up, but his original grade was 93%. But when I cut that in half, because it was going up by 4% on that 20 point assignment that he got 20 to 20, now he's only got half of that, so it's going up 2% instead of 4%. So a student might think, oh, my grade went down, right? So that's why you need to make sure to be careful when you put those percentages in to put in the first percentage as like 2% and then add the assignment and score it. And the next one is 2% and add that assignment and score it. So it's just something you need to think about. That's why I like the second option better. Either way, you've got three options that you can use for doing these extra credit items here. If you need any help with this, give us a call at JMC. We'll be happy to walk you through any of the three options for doing extra credit in JMC. Thank you for your time today, and thank you for choosing to use the JMC Gradebook.